How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today I'm going to try and record while we're doing murder balls. It's nothing crazy. I thought about live streaming, but I don't think it's worth it. This is kind of a back and forth kind of moment. They come online, they attack for a little bit, then they go offline for who knows, an hour at a time. We have pushed our way around the Great Ziggurat, as you can see. We're doing fantastic. We are pushing the kingdoms back. Whether that holds or not, whether there's a shift, I don't know. But we're going to see how it plays out. Uh, if the screen goes red, we're going to jump back over to my marches. But I just want to talk about the event we're going to do today. Oh, where are you? Team draw. We're going to do team draw. I am going to max purchase the extra ones you get right here we're going to do that we're going to open it up we're going to see what's inside i've heard great things which is why i'm going to do it it's why i spent my recharge today on the first two bundles the five and the ten dollar one and we're going to see what's inside i'll show you the commanders i'll show you how it works and wish me luck we will go in and out of the video as we are fighting these these guys during kill event which is obviously why they are here what do i get Ugh. Theodora, I guess. Ugh. Anyways, let's get through the uh, intro and we'll get right into it. Here we go. Okay, if the screen goes red or I see a new marker pop up, I will obviously zoom back out. How I'm fighting, I showed in the last video and I will put a card up at the top on how I'm fighting. I'm fighting like this on the PC version, I've heard the Mac has some issues. On the PC version, fantastic. Holy smokes, you've got F1 for all your troops. You've got F2 to select just the troops in your field of view. I've changed it to tab and F1 just for my own um, process. It's awesome. It gives you so much more control. You're not making mistakes. You're not lagging out. It's so much better. Yes, it looks like you're playing something from Atari or Nintendo back in the old school days before, uh, you know, everyone was playing on the internet. Uh, it's it's old school looking, but it works. I've been getting good trades. I've obviously been getting good kills. It's been a fantastic KVK for me. I love it. One thing that has not been fantastic is the amount of troop expansions I've used. I'm completely out. I am now buying them for 2,500 bucks a pop from the VIP shop, which as you can tell by my gem supply, isn't the worst thing in the world. But the merchant hasn't been nice to me on 70% off, which is usually where I buy them. But I didn't think I would need this many. I think my new stock levels are going to be about 20. Uh, even with the shields, I've been blowing through those. Not obviously as fast, but I've got two left. I had over 10 before this KVK started. So next recharge, I'll definitely be buying a bunch of those. Stocking up on the attacks as well, because I like to switch back and forth. Mostly with defense, but... We'll uh, play around with that. But let's see if we can do some stuff here. We'll see. We'll see if they stay at bay. We'll see when the markers pop up. We're playing defensive right now as more people log on. It's kind of our low time. It's not a secret, so I'm not giving anything away. But okay, let's go in here and let's check out Team Draw. Very cool. You get to choose your commanders. We'll go, I think, yeah, you can't do it anymore. So once you do it, you can't do it again. So I should have waited so that I could show you. You get different options. I chose Mulan because I'm working her. I chose Trajan because maybe one day I'll get to work him. It's not the worst if I get him. I could have went for Mehmed, but I end up finish him in gold keys soon anyways. So it just seemed like a waste. And then Pakal because I plan on working Pakal after CPO 2.0. Unless, um, oh, I forgot the new infantry commander's name besides CPO. Unless he's good, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're going to buy some more. You can get these from either the purchases, which I talked about earlier, or it looks like you get 10 a day for however long this event is around for. We will buy all of these, five grand a day. How many days is it on for? Three days. So 15,000 gems. Let's see if it's worth it. We're going to go back. I don't know. What do I do here? How many Imperial Scrolls to spend? Select. Well, let's do four. We'll do three fours and then a one. Seems decent. We'll do four. We'll match up. What happens? I have no idea. Okay, we got a rally launched on our flag, so we might be jumping in and out of this, but... Okay. Oh, what happened? 
I don't know what happened, but uh, I get to choose. Oh, okay. I guess he gets to choose and I get the rest. What's going to happen? Okay, I got speed ups. Oh, that's not looking great. What's this? One universal hit. Okay, well, that wasn't worth it. That really wasn't worth it. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay, I get more. That's cool. I get a Pakal. Okay, and another legendary head. I don't know. If... How many was that worth? That was just four? So that was 2,000 gems? Oh, that was totally worth it. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we're going to have to fight for a second here. So uh, whether I keep this in the video or not, I don't know. I might be editing this out or not. Wake up, Attila Rally's incoming. So it's probably going to be Attila Nevsky. It's been working really good. Uh, we are going to want... That's full. I imagine the flag is full. Yes, and they're going to come in with the rally. So might as well just show you guys how this works. Skip ahead. I will put cards in this video so you can skip ahead if all you want to see is the event. Don't blame me. Or if all you want to see is the, the fighting, then I'll, you can skip that as well. But let's see what happens here. Obviously, we'll wait till the rally comes in. Oh, they want us to clear the field. Off we go. So everybody knows how murder balls work. Mostly everybody that I play with now, no matter what kingdom I in, knows how murder balls work. As you can see, I'm going to pick off. See how easy it is to pick people off? This guy's going to die super fast. And then we'll pick the next one off. And you can literally instantly go back and forth. As soon as I have a target or a, my one of my marches gets targeted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a little bit of a fail. And this is, this is the bounce back and forth. So F1, move to a target. As the target moves, F1, again, if I get targeted... F1, drag over, and get out of the murder ball. It is very easy. You can see there's almost no lag. There is a little bit of lag when you defeat a march. Let's jump over to that one because he's closer into the murder ball. Um, there's a little bit of a lag when you beat a march, especially if there was like twice or three times as many marches out in the open field right now. Uh, who's this? Oh, that's the rally. No, don't hit the rally. That's, that's one thing. <laughs> Thankfully, I have full troop expansion and all the runes and buffs, so I don't think the trades were too bad on that. But try to avoid that. It's really hard to tell that guy's going to reinforce, so this is good. We're hitting him. There is no, most likely, and I should have checked that too, who the rally is being led by. Uh, I can't tell from there. What am I doing? Uh, I see Attila, and it's got to be Nevsky, right? Just to make sure there's no AoE hit me. Yeah, it's Nevsky, of course. Um, I've had that a couple times on the flag. I got wrecked. I don't know why. I, I've, I don't know if it's because it was too late or if it, too early. I don't even remember the time of day these days. But uh, I got too close to a Zenobia in the past. And I lost a lot of troops. Like probably 50,000 T5 troops in a matter of seconds. Before I even realized that I would pulled in. Um, I was done. Uh-oh. Uh oh, let's jump back. No, I might have overextended there. Jump back to my own territory. Gives me faster march there. No, we're good. It's nice to have Cherith right there. It's been really nice. He is our big whale, one of our big whales. We've got a few of them. And he's got Pakal and stuff. So he's just been jumping out of his city, hammering these guys. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Let's see if we can. I don't know what this guy's doing up here. I don't know. Sometimes there are glitches. So you'll notice that uh, you go to attack something and it's not even there. Or it's actually way on the other side of the field. So your march is just all of a sudden start marching somewhere totally random. So there are some bugs. But I still think it's 1,000 times better than trying to fight in giant murder balls when you are like this. Like it's so much better. Yes, I can see who I'm targeting. So my trades might be a bit better. But there's less mistakes. And the mistakes are really where you start losing on the trades. This is by far the best. As you can tell, my marches... Uh, was there one more in there? Yes, there is. My marches are doing great. I haven't really lost any substantial amount of troops. And I even hit the rally. Are we going to continue clearing? Or are we going back? Oh, well, I don't want to hit that flag solo. You really got to be careful where you're clicking. Uh, you got to be paying attention. If you're doing this while you're not focused... <laughs> You can lose a lot of troops real fast. Hopefully just in the hospital, but uh, you can get dead too. So what did that cost me? 80,000 T5. That is nothing. 
If I go in there and it's less than 100,000 after a murder ball like that, I'm happy. Uh, my reports wise are probably great. I have no doubt about it. Uh, let's go down to something that shows more than one. This wasn't a fantastic trades. Been getting these all KVK. It's been awesome. Just let's see what this is. So this is Richard uh, Ethelfled. You know, getting the AOE, getting good kills. It's a fantastic march. I, I know people say, why are you using Richard? But I'm telling you, I haven't had a bad, well, I've had a couple bad reports because sometimes he gets hit from behind and just swarmed. Everybody gets bad reports for that. But for the most part, uh, he's been doing fantastic. Nabu YSG is my best march by far. Do we have a couple more long ones? Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, here we go, etc. Ah, here we go. Okay, so that was a positive, 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 of course. That was even, you know, 400 down. Uh, definitely positive, even, very positive. Whew, that was a good one. Uh, got free kills, free kills. Very cool. Constantine, I'd be surprised if he doesn't have some negatives, but that's not his role. Uh, I might be getting hit or getting swarmed soon, but I don't know. That was just from uh, AoE. That wasn't bad. That was a positive. That was a positive. That was getting hit by AoE. Not much you can do about that. That, yeah, that was when I hit the rally. Not terrible, considering I hit a 1.3 million rally. And then that wasn't too bad. So, like, none of these are really bad. Uh, Ramses, Mehmed, that was the rally to be expected when you're talking cavalry. Uh, what do we have here? Guan Leo, fantastic. Everybody knows Guan Leo does really well. Uh, what's this? Nabu YSG, awesome. The great reports, guys. Honestly, the March. <laughs> I didn't even get hit by this guy. <gasps> Ouch. The uh, the reports from the marches that I have going on right now have really been awesome. Crap. Let's refresh. Thankfully, I'm right up at the front. I don't know how I snagged this spot. I don't know if there was like a barb there before, so nobody was able to rally or to teleport there, but got lucky. This is kind of where the speed burn up comes in. I've just been, once I have max helps, I jump in here and I finish it off. I need to after each battle because I don't even have enough T5 infantry for my six Constantine March. It's running at about, I think, 320,000. So let's refresh this up and we're going to do another team draw. So this will be a longer video, but I will have the cards like I said, so it'll work out quite well. Okay, everybody's back. Oh, it's, it's so nice having quick refreshes. And it's not nice for the enemy because I don't have to worry. Well, they have to worry about all my marches always being full. Uh, obviously, my crystal tech's not fantastic. I didn't get finished it. I don't have a lot of extra damage increase or full troop capacity. But uh, I capped my spending and that... Obviously, I don't have any crystal regrets, so that's good. And I think next KVK will be even better. There you go. So I got 321,000 T5. So I am missing some, but I'm not going to spend any speed ups right now on troop training until we have a kingdom buff and, you know, there's time to train. But for now, this is good enough. It's been working really well. Okay, let's go in and do another team draw. Should we do four again? Like, I feel like that wasn't the best luck, but we're going to do four again. I said I was going to do four, 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 one. So let's see what happens. Match. Imagine it won't take long to get one person. Boom. I guess he gets to select first. No, I get to select. I got one. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. So the first five are all me and not a single legendary sculpture. I don't know. Maybe I'm just unlucky. What do we got here? One Mulan. So that's worth 2000 So that's not terrible. You know, 2500 bucks to do this. He got the legendary sculpture. Do I get one more? Nope, that was it. Ouch. All right, let's try that again. Uh, man, select. We're going to do another four. Maybe I should be doing one at a time. Maybe that's luckier. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll just do one at a time. I got 10 more, 10 tries. Maybe I'll have better luck. But I haven't even gotten a single a single um, 10 spot yet. I haven't even seen one with 10. So what are you going to do, bud? Did you select? I can only select one. Which is odd. 
I guess it's going to automatically select if the uh, timer runs out, I imagine. Yep. All right. Wish me luck. What do we got here? We've got something special inside. Good speed ups. I could definitely use them. One, so that's 2,000 gems. Again, not, not bad. This event has definitely come a long way. What do we got on this last one? Something good? Up a call? No, one. Bummer, man. Total bummer. Okay, we got one left. That's all we're gonna get. One is my only choice. Match. Let's see what happens. I don't know how long it takes if you're matching with five other people. But I imagine it doesn't take too long. Oh, or somebody else with four. There you go. And we get to select one. So strange. Okay, we're gonna watch his first. Watch him get like... Oh no, he, he, got a he went for Tao Tao. Hey, whatever. To each their own. Hey, there you go. We got a Trajan. That's worth 2,000. That was a good one. What else do we got? Five Mulan. Pull it with the win with one. And he got one too. Wow, that was awesome. Okay. I think tomorrow I'll be doing one at a time. Don't know if that matters with any luck. Maybe it's just my luck. I've been having bad luck lately. I don't know. Maybe I used it all somewhere. Who knows? Okay. Well, that's pretty much the basis of the video. You got to watch the murder ball. I thought they'd come back, but like I said, this is why I didn't live stream. Because we'd probably just be sitting here. It's a bummer that I used 50% troop capacity. 2,500 gems worth. But, you know what? It is what it is. Another reason for buying Looser and Scroll. For people who don't spend much money in this game, I'm telling you, the amount of goodies you get, including two 50% army expansions, that's 5,000 gems worth right there. If you get them from the merchant, yes, it'll be less, but I'm telling you, if you're on the fence on, you know, spending a little bit of money in the game, and you can, Looser and Scroll comes like once a month. Is it once a month? How often is it? Not even. It's more than, you know, once every 35, 40 days, something like that. I don't know. If you can, it's five bucks. Highly suggest it. Uh, I think it's probably the best value in the game, in my opinion. But okay, I'm going to keep fighting uh, as I upload and edit this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try just once tomorrow. I might be live streaming tomorrow. I have the whole day off. So if there's all of a sudden some hardcore war, I'm just going to pop into live stream. I do have a family function at, later on in the afternoon for Good Friday. But uh, otherwise, I'll be home and hopefully I'll be able to live stream. If not, it'll be sometime this weekend. I've got four days off for the holidays. So we'll have it eventually. There'll be some live streams. But... Thanks for checking it out, guys. Please do hit the like and subscribe. It really helps. Leave comments down below. I love getting comments. I reply to them as fast as I possibly can. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Later.